My name is Moon Petri and I'm getting very excited for NaNoWriMo. So here is what I did thus far. I read through once pretty quickly the draft that I'm going to be revising and I was saying in my last video, I think the plot is good. The plot is good. I'm psyched with that. Um, it was very compelling because it is so like stripped down and streamlined. It is just a mad cat pace. So I can definitely add quite a bit and still have it feel fast paced, I think. So first read through, just trying to get an overall sense of it. I didn't take many notes. Uh, I tried not to fix little things, but there were a couple times I couldn't help myself, like two uses of a too unique word too close together. Um, but mostly I just tried to get an overall sense. There is one piece of the ending that feels a little deus ex machina. It feels a little unearned. Like um, there are a lot of pieces that have to come together for the ending and this one is just like not built up enough. Uh, Cause it's a single POV in this book and this piece is coming from a different character that I think we just don't, and I said it before, before I even read through it, I don't think that character gets enough page time. So a thing I was kind of already aware I needed to work on. Then I read through it a second time, much more slowly, and I was looking for basically two different things. What I need to add, like what feels missing or not strong enough, um, and where stuff can fit. And sometimes it's easy to see both, like, oh, this scene feels rushed, and it's obvious, you know, what I need to do here. Um, and sometimes it was like, I need to fit in some more of this character or whatever, um, and just sort of spotting the places as I went. So yeah, I have read through it twice. I have some pretty good notes. I may try to take a little more time to expand and brainstorm on exactly how to do some of this stuff, but like I'm, I'm in a good place, I think. Pretty happy with how it is for now. So other things going on. I was raving about my shirt in my last video, so I wanted to actually show you how it fits. I also was saying that I was getting a haircut. As you can see, I did not like um, let them cut much, but they used this amazing oil that makes my hair so silky. I had to buy a bottle of it. I'm also trying to do some other self-care. My sweet, sweet friend gave me this hilarious assortment of things I absolutely love, but if you've got it, haunt it cup but i used the foot mask which is pumpkin vanilla scented in case you needed your feet to smell like pie anyway weird thing i had never tried before but that was nice and uh you know another thing that's been going on it's usually nice in life right when you're reading a book and then something in your life lines up with the book and you're like oh how you know serendipitous these pieces fit together like this life imitates art or something uh yeah not so much when you're reading horror so i don't read a lot of horror but if i love everything else an author has done i will totally read their horror so i'm reading the honeys by ryan masala and um he's super cool and does have an author tube channel if you have not checked him out also yeah, his other books, wow, so good. Reverie is why a fantasy and Bedazzled is why a contemporary. They're both spectacular, so I read the horror, which has a lot of bees in it. And then for some reason, bees decide to invade my house. This is not the same bee, repeatedly. There were six bees in my house. My seven-year-old had a bee crawling all over her. Luckily, she is the sort of girl who's like absolutely in love with every small creature. So she's like, my friend's name is Tickle. <laughs> like, awesome. Can I collect Tickle to bring outside? Um, but yeah, it was creepy. I was overtired from staying up too late reading a horror novel with a lot of bee stuff going on in it. So I'm like, am I imagining these bees? Cause I'm so overtired and read too much.
bunch of scary stuff. Anyway, fun. And the other thing that I need to do that is at least as important as NaNoWriMo is Die November. And if you are not familiar with Die November, it is when the dinosaurs come out at night and get up to all kinds of hijinks and uh, the children find them getting into stuff in the morning. So I just wanted to introduce you to my dear friends since you will be seeing a bit of them in coming vlogs. Stegosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Triceratops, these are guys you're familiar with, T-Rex, I call her Rexy, she is one of my favorites. Uh, Carnotaurus, very interesting, means meat bull. So Velociraptor was actually quite small, uh, but Utah Raptor was larger. This is Ananguera. Uh, pause here. <clears throat> small TED Talk. So uh, Ananguera is clearly a pterosaur. Pterosaurs are not dinosaurs. Pterosaurs and dinosaurs were both archosaurs. So they fall under the same larger umbrella, but pterosaurs are not dinosaurs in the end. This is Cytania, and then my absolute favorite Sauropelta with the super goth shoulder spikes. Okay, back to Nano, because that's like the actual topic here, right? I did sign up and um, look at local events. There are a couple this month at my local library, which is cool. There is this one that I've never been to at a not too distant library and it is called The Night is Long and Filled with Errors and it runs from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. I've always wanted to do it, but like, I'm, I try to be honest with myself about myself and while uh, with, you know, caffeine and entertainment and a crowd all excited about the same thing, I could make it to one or two, maybe a little later, but Long before seven, I fear I would be like sprawled on a library floor snoring in front of strangers. So maybe the, maybe the time in my life when I could actually have done such a thing has passed. I don't know. Anyway, it seems like such a cool thing but I'm probably not gonna do it. So that is where we are at. I am pretty well prepared, but I really need to get working on my Die November ideas list because I try to do some different things each year and not just repeat all the same stuff. Wish me luck with that. Until next time, I am Moon Petri. Nano is just a few days away. Good luck and I hope you are as excited as I am.